we know that you used to work in a chocolate factory. How was that? <laughs> well, um, I used to work in a chocolate factory when I was about 16, and uh, I didn't do very well there. I was put on the production line, and I had to put little, very wafer-thin mints into boxes. And because I have rather clumsy fingers, I dropped a lot, and I wasn't very good, it wasn't very quick. So I was moved onto a job where I had to push a great big trolley around, and it had all sorts of trays and cake tins and things on it. And that was my job, to push it around the factory. And uh, I drove it into the production line at one point, by mistake, obviously, and broke the production line so that all the chocolate went down onto the floor. And I was dismissed. Was it Willy Wonka then that got you into acting then? No, it wasn't Willy Wonka. Nothing to do with uh, him. Um, it was just uh, something that happened at school, really. Just one event. It got you straight into acting. Yeah. yeah. What was that? Uh, well, it was being put in a play, and I'd never done it before, and I really liked it. Was what it against it? your will? Or it wasn't what? against my will, no. <laughs> what play was it? I agreed. It was a play called The Farmer's Wife, and I played, I can remember the name of the part, it was Teddy Smerton, and I had a little sailor suit. I was about, uh, I think, uh, seven or eight years old, and it was a play with uh, adults in. It was amateur dramatics. Yeah, it's all coming back to me now. Who, who would you most like to play in a play? What, now? Yeah, given the opportunity. Richard III. Why is that? Because it's one of the best parts in the whole of drama. Because you get to be a villain, but also the audience is like you because you're quite funny. And then you have a spectacular death at the end. So you like being a funny guy. Do you have any drama jokes? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Pretty sure you do, somewhere. Maybe... Acting-related jokes. An acting-related joke. Nope. You, you do. <laughs> <laughs> it forced me to think of one. Oh, any jokes, any? Any jokes? Yeah, you, oh, I've got a joke, give us, give us yeah. A joke. Hey, let's broaden it out. Um, my joke is, what, how do you catch a rabbit? I don't know, how do you catch a rabbit? You go behind a bush and make a noise like a lettuce. Uh, uh. <laughs> 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 Do you have any interesting techniques to remember lines? Oh, oh, now you're talking. Yes, I do. Recording it, yeah, you know, phone, dictaphone, something like that. Just uh, recording it so that you play back the cues and it's as though someone is giving you the cues. So if you can't actually rehearse with the person you're supposed to be rehearsing with, use the recording as if they're there. Works for me. Lovely. Although, I must say, I've got an admission, sorry to interrupt, but it didn't work in the school pantomime that I was in last time. Don't know whether you saw that. But I, I, yeah, and I forgot a lot of lines, and that was a genuine forgetting. I could not remember anything. But I didn't use the recording technique then, you see, and I had no one to test me on my lines. That's quite comical, though. You played it off very well. Very kind, thank you. <laughs> That's the only reason I came here. I was just leading you towards a little bit of praise for my performance in the pantomime. Thank you. I've got a story about uh, once when I was working in a school, a boarding school, and I went in the back of the theatre. I've told this story to many classes, so, you know, if you've heard this once, sorry. But uh, I went in the back of the theatre, it was night time, uh, because I always went in the school through the back of the theatre. It was the quickest way to get to my pigeonhole to see if any letters had come. So I was coming up the stairs at the back of the theatre and coming in through the wings. It was very, very dark. Only the fire exit uh, signs were casting a little green light. And I was very used to going through the school in the dark, so I didn't put any lights on, until I saw the silhouette of two little figures standing at the front of the stage as if they were looking out into the empty auditorium. Very strange. I was frightened. I had to go and get some friends <laughs> to come and go in the theatre with me. And what do you think it was? What do you think these figures were? Models. Yeah, they were, yeah. They were little... <laughs> <laughs> How did you get that? They were little, like, you know, tailor's dummy type things, mannequins that you put clothes on. There was going to be a kind of display of school uniform the next day. Have you had any classes where students have gone out of control or a really awkward student... <laughs> Oh, what's the strangest student you've ever taught? Strangest. Oh, yeah, OK. It wasn't really a class. It was a kind of after-school drama thing. And, uh, yeah, the, I got these people doing a kind of scene where they were supposed to be being a bit violent. And a boy came up to me and put his hands around my throat and started throttling me. And I didn't, I didn't fight him off because we were told, you know, not to manhandle children. So it's I had to kind of... Got, yeah, he was going to kill me. But um, he, he stopped. I think he just realised he shouldn't kill me. <laughs> and I, I forgave him and it was, you know, it was fine. Okay. <laughs>
<laughs> there we are. How do you like, talk to the parents about that? Your son... Oh, he, never, he's doing very well this time. Uh, he he no. tried to kill me, but I overlooked I that. never mentioned it. <laughs> I didn't talk to anyone about it for about five years because I thought that's just a bit embarrassing. Emotion is God.